goodness comes in evil. Go Kimungo Ukambozi, Kimungo Ukambozi, Kimungo Ukambozi, divine liberty, divine liberation, divine freedom, and all that that will bring for African people wherever we happen to be on the face of this earth. Karibu, welcome. My name is Quinde, and today we're going to get into another important subject, and that subject is sacred space on African soil. By the grace of the Creator Supreme, African people have been blessed with magnificent flow of genius, superlative genius flow. And that is at one with the inherent spirit of being that African people also superlatively hold. As such, what the African builds, what the African expresses in terms of uh, skill, and ingenuity reflects that spiritual living, reflects that spiritual way of life. So feats of excellence and outstanding uh, capabilities become uh, manifest. Now there are many places on African soil, north, south, east, west, central, that all have examples of spiritually endowed or spiritually enriched expression. What we're going to discuss here is one example out of the many that there are, not only on the African continent, but also uh, in the diaspora as well throughout the African world. Where we're going to go is in a place that is now uh, called Zimbabwe. We're going to look at the ancient city of great Zimbabwe, and great indeed it is. Uh, and to just highlight the significance of this, I'm going to uh, read or share with you the words of an astrophysicist from a European institution of uh, space science and technology. And the words that this astrophysicist had to say about the great Zimbabwe site are as follows. Preliminary investigations do reveal that the native African peoples that built great Zimbabwe were aware of the sky and may indeed have marked important astronomical seasonal events. For example, in a preliminary survey, a chevron pattern on the southeast corner of the larger outer wall is bisected by the rising position of the sun on the summer solstice from inside the enclosure and aligns with what has been called the altar, or in other words, a shrine, as well as an original pillar inside the enclosure. As this large patterning does not appear at any other place on the outer wall, it would appear to be a conspicuous candidate for, the, uh, for a summer solstice marker built into the great enclosure. In addition, a large passageway within the great enclosure, about two meters in width, 30 or so meters in curving length, with 10 meter high brick walls on either side, would allow a limited view of the sky with an angular extent and curvature. Matching the position and angular extent of the Milky Way overhead 
on the summer solstice. While the Milky Way was a very important calendrical marker for the Karanga people of this area who are a part of the Shona, this observation too must be confirmed with further research. Finally, from a cleared platform at the top of the hill complex, two large stones approximately five meters in length in close proximity to each other can be seen to form a slit directed precisely east which could have served as a solar marker for the equinoxes. Now, what that highlights is that foreign researchers, foreign uh, investigators, observers come along, study African genius expression, architecture and otherwise, and glean what they can for their own uses and benefits. However, I'm sharing that with you because what that also shows to us as an African people throughout the world is that we have science and technology that is expressed from our spiritual way of life that others simply playing or trying to play or attempting to play catch up on in terms of having an understanding about what it is that they're actually looking at, what they're actually observing. And the deep level of knowingness of science, technology, the deep knowing of self, the universe, and having a spiritual way of life informs that special expression, that special output. Whatever the area of excellence that is expressed, that spiritual thrust is always there at the core. And this scientist working on behalf of a European institution highlights just how advanced African knowingness holistically was in historical times and actually still is if African people claim their natural legacy of inheritance. So having a special place, starting in the home and living your African way can yield that expression of excellence, can uh, energize African life again, greater than it has been, ever more great than it was. And that is why the restoration of African life for African people with special places, in line with special times of year, such as the spring equinox, are so important and so empowering. So with that food for thought, and surely it is food for thought, Kimunga Ukumbozi, Kimunga Ukumbozi, Kimunga Ukumbozi, divine liberty, divine liberation, divine freedom, and all that that will bring for African people wherever we happen to be on the face of this earth. Sacred